In this video, I'll be showing you how to clean the print head of your Canon PIXMA E3370. Now, this is a fairly <clears throat> easy process to do. You don't need anything else apart from just the printer itself and the supply uh, power supply into the printer. You're going to want to make sure that the printer is on. And um, you don't need any paper or anything for this unless you'd like to do a nozzle check at the end. But this, of course, is a, a separate thing. You don't need to do it for to clean the, uh, the printer head. So you just need the printer itself. So what you will want to do is come over to the left-hand panel. You see a few buttons. Now, this is the button we'll be focusing on for the moment. Now, this is the uh, service button. So what we're going we're gonna to do is press this three times and follow that by pressing one of the uh, either black or color button. doesn't matter which one. They both do the same thing. So what you want to do, press it three times. So we do one, two, three. Then you see on the LCD screen, it comes up with a three, flashing three alongside the service button, which is the same as this uh, icon there. So that's how you know that it's in the service mode, mode three. And then we're going to press black and that will begin the process. Now this process normally takes about a minute to two minutes to do. So at this time, try not to touch anything. Don't uh, turn off the printer itself you'll see that the light is flashing on and off so just leave this to do as it needs on the CD screen you can see that it's sort of turning to show that it's doing something so just leave this to do some do its own thing and then we'll come back to it in a moment once it's finished and then once the process is complete and the nozzle heads have been cleaned you'll see that the screen returns back to the normal setting it was on before and you have a consistent green power light at this point the um, it, the head should have been cleaned. What I'd recommend now to do is just to turn off the printer itself, just to make sure that it has enough uh, time to completely drain of power before you turn it back on. And this will just reset the um, position of the nozzle heads ready to be used. Uh, it's not a necessary step, but I'd always recommend just to reset it after doing something like this to make sure that the printer is up and running as good as possible. And then you can turn it back on. There you are, and that should have resolved any issues you might have with the print head. Uh, with this model of printer, it's actually a bit more difficult to take the print head out, so cleaning it is a, a good solution to maintaining it. Uh, this is more useful, A, so you don't spend as much money, and B, so your printer lasts much longer. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you'd like to also do a deep cleaning after this, or do a nozzle check, we have many other videos on those such processes to teach you through the step-by-step -step of how to do it. Uh, that's quite useful as well to maintain the quality of your printer. So I'd recommend not too frequently because of course you waste your um, ink to do so, but it is uh, a necessary part of, of maintaining your printer. So yeah, as I say, I hope this has been useful for you. Please leave us a comment if you have any other questions, concerns, or queries. My name is Pat and this is Printers with Pat.